Hello everybody and welcome back to the Insight Innovation Exchange 2014 right here at the Georgia Tech Conference Center hosted by Green Book and Gen2 Advisors and brought to you by Research Now. I am here with the COO of Brain Juicer, the one and only Alex Batchelor. Alex, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I Great. appreciate you taking the time. You guys are always, always on the list of the of the grit and the innovative top 10, innovative top 20, innovative whatever we go to now. Talk to us about Insight Innovation Exchange and what it means to you guys at Brain Juicer. Um, we're very grateful for the Insight Innovation Exchange because it kind of gives us a chance to talk about behavior and how we understand humans rather than obsess too much on technology. So I think the temptation always when you're doing innovation, you've got to do some technology right. stuff. We're all very excited about what technology can do for us. But actually it's really all about theories of human behavior and how we get people to do stuff or how we understand why people are doing stuff or how we get people to do better stuff. And I think that's really where we're intrigued and where we get a great chance to come and you know get some great ideas from other people as well. How do you guys stay ahead of the game? How do you guys stay, you know, what's your, what's your secret sauce? Give it to us here. I think it would be delusional for us to believe that we're that far ahead of the game. The honest truth, I think it's, it's, it's Andy Gove, the only the paranoid survive. I think, <laughs> I think the, the reality of what we're trying to do is keep improving ourselves to understand things differently and try stuff that doesn't work. And I think, you know, at events like this, it's quite nice to bring along things that did work. But equally, sometimes uh, I, I once did a, a conference for the, the Marketing Society in the UK that they found quite useful. And I did it for about 10 years in the end for, for new graduates, which was really about all the cock ups and disasters and <laughs> mistakes and problems that I've done in my life and almost using them as an example. And I think that's what the industry has got to be is not afraid of failure and making mistakes and I think that's why we get less change than we think we're gonna get is because actually everyone's secretly a little bit careful we don't mind you making a mistake right. but I sure as hell don't want to be the one who makes it right and nobody wants to put the job on the line right? <laughs> yeah, is that fail fast mentality we yeah. talk about it but how do you guys incorporate that in your culture that fail fast learn grow um, I think, to be honest, like most cultures, it's really about hiring good people. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, we're also grateful to IAX to get to meet some great people. So, uh, so it's always a good uh, opportunity to see. Uh, and equally, we, we have, you know, ex spring juicer people mm -hmm. who've ended up being part of this, like Ari Popper with Sci Futures. You know, he did a great job setting up Brain Juicer in North America and is now here, you know, showcasing some wonderful work he's done with Carl Nell from Lowe's. Yeah, crazy. He's a rock star for sure. Yeah. Talk to me finally about the future people in our industry. Universities and the MSMR programs and everyone here are going crazy about, you know, how do we engage young people? How do we make sure we get the top talent involved in research for the future? What does that look like? What do we need to look for? What does a young researcher need to have? Give me the, the, the persona. I think we obsess slightly about all the skills that must come together perfectly. And it's like, you know, pretty much every uh, headhunter brief you ever read is, you know, God on a good day <laughs> with, uh, uh, you know, all the mix of everything. I think the honest truth for me in, in terms of what the research industry needs to look for in people is people who are good storytellers, people who are having some fun, and we need to make those things integral to the task of what we're trying to do. Because if we're going to change human behavior, they're going to change it much more in response to a story than they are in response to a great piece of data analysis and all the rest of it. So I'm not diminishing all of those skills and all of that stuff that's got to be there as well. But I think uh, if you were trying to make research sound sexy, none of us grew up at seven and said, you know, I want to go into market research. And I've done actually with John, we spent a lot of time talking in schools. And I think if you treat research as experiments in human behavior, it sounds a hell of a lot more interesting than if we call it market research. Agreed. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. the time to be here, Alex. Very nice I appreciate to be. it. You heard it here first at the Insight Innovation Exchange 2014 in Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.